So, as you see here, I have a little notification on my Apple iPad 2 to make a few new videos. Now, this video is actually going to be about some of the upgrades in iOS 5. I'm actually going to cover three of the major updates or upgrades in iOS 5. One of which is a notification system. Now, as you see here, I have a notification, and as you heard, I had a little alarm. That's my calendar app, and I had it set for 105 to make a few new videos. So the notification system in iOS 5 has gotten an upgrade and it borrows a lot from Android. Now as you see on the lock screen here you have your notification and that's in the center and if you had several they would be lined up. But let's unlock the iPad here and I'll show you the notifications. Now Android was the first operating system or first mobile operating system to have the drop down menu which is sort of like a window shade for notifications. After that WebOS had it and now iOS has it. So if you have any notifications you will drop them down from the top here again that window shade effect and it says here calendar make a few new videos so that's what I'm doing right now and this is the new notification system it actually brings iOS up to par with the competition out there and it's actually a nice feature I like it in Android I like it in WebOS and I like it here in iOS now obviously I only have one notification here but if I had several they would be listed down here just as they would be on the lock screen and you can interact with the notifications from here. So you can address them or you can dismiss them. There's a little X over here in the upper right hand corner where you can actually dismiss the notification or you can actually interact with it by pressing on it. It says you need to make some new iOS 5 videos and here we go I'm making some new iOS 5 videos. So that is the notification or the updated notification system on iOS 5. Now iOS 5 has been out and available for iOS devices for about a little under two months now. So if you have a device and you've already updated it, you probably know some of these features, or at least the notification feature. I'm going to dive into a couple of features that you might not be familiar with, especially since you can actually still purchase an iPad 2 with iOS 4 on it. Not all new iPads have iOS 5 installed on them yet. So the next two upgrades to iOS I'm going to show you are not so on the surface and you might not know about them. So the next feature we're going to tackle is the on-screen keyboard. Now I'm going to bring up Safari here and I have my YouTube page brought up here and I'm just going to go into the field here to bring up the keyboard. Now there's a couple of new features on this keyboard which I actually like a lot and one of them is that you can actually move the keyboard around. Now it might not be so comfortable typing in portrait mode here all the way at the bottom of the device so you might actually want that keyboard a little bit up or anywhere you want it on this screen here and you do that by grabbing this keyboard button and just moving the keyboard now as you see there the keyboard split and that's the other feature on this that I actually kinda like now for me typing on this keyboard is probably best right there because you're going to be holding the device and that's where your thumbs are. So that's a good placement for the keyboard there. If you like it, you can put it up higher, you can put it up lower. It's up to you. But it's nice to have choices. Now the other thing that you saw there is that the keyboard split. You can actually split the keyboard in half if you want to. And that's another nice feature. Now it might be a little small to type in in portrait mode like this, but it really comes in handy when you go to landscape mode. right there. Now it comes in handy especially for those of you who have smaller hands because you might not be able to reach to the center of the device to do the typing for the center keys there. So it makes things easier for people and again you can still adjust where this keyboard is on the screen. So that's a nice feature on iOS 5, the upgraded keyboard. Okay, the third and final upgrade we're going to cover in this video is gestures on iOS 5. Now I'm just going to open up my Safari here again and you see my YouTube channel here. Now there's a couple of gestures on this that I find very useful and one of which is the four finger scroll. Now if you have multiple apps open on the device or have used several apps recently you can actually swipe between them. So right now I'm in the web browser. If I swipe with my four fingers I go to a YouTube app swipe again I go to the newsstand 
swipe again, I go to Engadget. So these are all recent apps that I've been using, and I can just swipe between them. And if I want to swipe back, I can do it that way as well. Very cool, very useful. I like that feature on this device. Now another gesture that you can actually use, and that's really easy to remember, is a grab, you grab the screen with five fingers and you just pinch together. So you pinch together and it goes back to the home screen. Instead of pressing the home button, you can just grab and get rid of things that way. All it really does is replace the home button press but it's something that's really easy to do and I'd actually like to see Apple get rid of the home button. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but you now have the features within iOS where you don't really need the home button anymore because you could just grab and get rid of it. Now it might not work on a small device like a phone, but at least on a tablet you really don't need that home button. And for me, I find that I press it a lot accidentally. But those are three new features on iOS 5 notifications, an upgraded keyboard, and gestures. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, and I'll see you guys next time.